Previously on The Cloud's Daughters. It's me, Tess. What a surprise! Oh, you're the spitting image of your mum. Ah, uh, don't want <laughs> that against me. Where is Ruth? Um, she died. You left us. You and Ruth. Dad and I worked this place for 20 years and not one word from you. I was just wondering if you'd like to stay the night. Yep, I'd love to. Ian's been stealing fuel. I don't think it was just Ian. I saw them filling the drums last night. It was all of them. I didn't know what it meant. Pack up your things and get off the property. Excuse me? You're fired, the lot of you. So this is yours. It's ours, I suppose. No damage done. G'day, Marty. Hey, Claire. How's it going? Not bad. Where's Jack? Still got his lazy ass in bed. Been away, Marty. Jack died. Heart attack. Right. No, I'm sorry. Must have been a bit of a shock. Yeah. But who's in charge of the place now? That would be me. For real? Hey, good on you for having a bash. We're expecting four workers, not three. Luke's on his way. Great. We'll dump your stuff and we'll have something to eat. Are these guys your shearers? Yep. I've met more men here in three days than a month in the city. Is it always so busy? I've got a forward contract with delivery due in 48 hours. For that, I need extra hands. I'll help too. Can I help? I know heaps about wool. Like what? Don't put it in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, Claire. What can I do? Getting dressed might be a start. It'll take some time to find your heart. Can I give you a hand with that? Oh, thank you. I'm Meg, Chief Cook. Vernon. And by geez, you got away with porridge, Meg. You wouldn't have any muesli instead of the gruel, would you? I'm not a breakfast person anyway. <laughs> I take it this is Luke. He's bought a friend. Hi, Becky. <whistles> Here you got some shearing to do. Mm, did you have a conversation, did you? If you need a rousty, I'm available. 
Yeah, I could do with some extra help. So what happened to the pub and the supermarket? You quit there, did you? Days off, that's all. I like to spread myself around. Grab yourself some brekkie. Come over, boys. Yeah, shove over. Dollar eighty a head. That's the base rate, Jack. Can you negotiate it? Yeah, it's sweet. No, I still can't believe it about Jack. Big yeah. shoes to fill. Lucky for me, I'm a nine and a half. Grab the mail on the way in. Oh. Heap of bills. Great. That one's for you. Things track you down already, huh? Solicitors always know where to find you. is in the shed. <laughs> Good on you. Um, listen, Jodie's, uh... Mm. She's just outside. <clears throat> School holiday's getting longer or what? Yeah. So, you still got a job then? Maybe not for long. A letter just arrived from Tess's lawyer. Mm, she wants to settle then. Well, nobody said anything to me, but mm -hmm. this stays between us, OK? Mm -hmm. Hi, Terry. Hey, kiddo, how are you going? All right? Uh, Vernon wants to know if there's any more of your great snags. Vernon? Is he with Marty O'Rourke's team now, then? Oh, do you know Vernon? Yeah, I've heard of him. He hasn't been out of the clink for long. What did he do? He bashed the living daylights out of a rousty. He's got a temper and a half on him. Are you sure we're talking about the same bloke? You know, ask his wife and kids, except they've disappeared off the face of the earth. Wow. Yeah, get him in. Rumour is she was having an affair with another bloke. Well, great. If he killed his wife, he must be single. Mum! A murderer dead set. He killed his whole family. He cut them up into little pieces and then he got rid of them. Gee, and I thought my family was screwed up. About five minutes till we get started? To the boss. Roy. Claire. My solicitor, look, it's no big problem now, but when you've got a moment... Shout it a bit louder, Tess. Look, they already think I'm not up to running the place. Really give them the idea that we've got problems here. How well, they know what I was talking about? Can we just deal with this after I've delivered on the contract? Roy! <laughs> left hand to stand all the time. Ah, oh, get over it. Very colourful. David Clay. Ducks on the pond. And that would mean women in the shearing shed who might be easily offended. Mm, they'll be opening doors for us next. Hi guys. Nice outfit. Where's the rest of it? Mum, it is going to be stinking hot in here. And if I have to work on my holidays, at least I don't have to die from the heat. Hey, sweetheart. I've done the shoulder. Can you give us a hand getting the sheep out? You manage that? Yeah. Shouldn't be too hard. Quicker if I did it myself. I'm scared of hurting them. Oh, 
cannot believe how disgustingly oily this stuff is. When I get my wheels, there is no way I'm having sheep skin covers. Gee, that'll break the back of the wool industry. <laughs> More sheep, come on. <laughs> this is so Aussie. Sheep's dog shed full of shearers. <laughs> Ex con and a murderer, now that's Aussie. Murderer? Yeah, haven't you heard? How he did it was a strangulation. An axe, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's happened to my wet pack? Do I want to know? Did you sweep it up? What? She swept it up. Oh, you gotta be joking. I'll keep your hair on, I'll get you another one. I didn't touch anyone's wet pack. The was giving me a rash, okay? <laughs> oh, geez, I'm glad that's happened. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Good day's work. Yeah, not bad. I've still got a bit of work to do around the yard. Marty, can I borrow the ute? Oh, yours, mate. I hope you like. They're not staying here tonight, are they? Oh, no, no. Booked them in the Hilton up the road. Well, you've heard about Vernon. Yeah, I know. He's been in jail. And worse, you don't have a problem with this? I've got to get a job done. He's doing good work. End of story. More money in the bank. I'm sure that's all your solicitor cares about. Well, money's a part of it. So what was in the letter, Tess? You must be making plans. You know what lawyers are like. It's really just a page full of big words. Which are all to do with your plans. I haven't made any decisions yet. Tree to get the mobile working. So if you've left messages, I haven't been able to retrieve them. Yeah, no. I'm feeling pretty cut off. She knows I got your letter, but um, I haven't talked to her about it. I'm feeling pretty guilty. Do you know what sort of price we're looking at? Really? Well, that sounds pretty reasonable. And are they still pushing for an early settlement? to kill your whole family or just push too far maybe they didn't help with the dishes well Tess what would you do if you caught your lover in bed with your best friend would you want to kill him no I deal with it in a rational adult way and I clean the toilet with his toothbrush <laughs> <laughs> what if someone was threatening your home well you can't take someone's life just because they break in to steal your TV what if they wanted to take something irreplaceable still no reason to well, what would you do, Claire? 
Rifle's not in the house for decoration. Got book work to do. Okay, can you take that bone out to the dogs? In the dark? Oh, come on. Hey, you know bugger all about it, so stop your mouth flat. I wouldn't be pushing my weight around if I was you, mate. All I have to do is talk to Marty, and you're out of here. Don't threaten me. And don't give me a reason to. Hey, don't lay a hand on me, mate. I'm telling you, you won't see it coming. What are you doing? Look, I know it's a badge of honour to say you leave it unlocked, but considering we may have a psychopath on the loose, I heard Vernon and Jason having a fight. It sounded pretty full on. They're shearers. They get pissed, they blew with each other. It means nothing. Have you had sex today? Excuse me? Well, if you haven't, you're safe. You know how it works in the movies. The killer only gets you <gasps> if you've just had sex. My mind is now at rest. Hey. Are the rumours we're hearing true? I thought I'd just proven that. Not you, Vernon. Yeah, so they reckon. I'll have one too. <gasps> Jeez, you scared the... Did you always sneak around like that? Thought I heard some rats. Some rats, all right. If you need a rifle to chase them. Put some brandy in that tea, will you? Glad I'm not the only jumpy one around here. I talked to my solicitor before. Really? When you asked me what I wanted to do, well... I do have some thoughts. I mean, you've always known what you've wanted to do with your life, and for a long time I guess I've had some ideas too. But if I'm going to make my stuff happen, then I'm going to need some money. I'm not buckets. What sort of plans? Well, you know, like everyone has. Oh, an overseas trip, some new clothes, a car? No. Because this is my home you're talking about. Claire, I couldn't sell the place out from under you. No. So what could you do? I need some money. And the way I see it, there's acres and acres of Tess, property don't here. say it. Just a bit. How could it hurt to sell off just a bit?
What happened? Who's dead? No one. Good. Come on. There's something I want you to see. Oh, go away, Claire. Hey, Claire, wait up! This is where I learned to swim. It's also where I had my first kiss. Who was it? Claire! Got one chance. That's what they say. They're all wrong, because there are many ways. Got to want it, got to know, and nothing's just as it seems. It's not easy. What does it look like to you? I don't know, it's a shed. It was built by my grandfather's grandfather. From stones he cleared from the first paddock of Drover's Run. Okay, it's an old shed. This was where Jack died. Nothing certain. That's a tough. Nothing easy. Yeah, that's rough. Walk towards it or let it go. Speak the words, the words. Nothing fancy. He wouldn't have wanted that. That's my mother. Who's that? That's Adam. He was stillborn. Your little brother, I didn't know about that. He died along with my mum. Your half brother. You do a great line in guilt trips, you know that. You say you only want to sell off a bit of the place, Tess. Which bit do you want to sacrifice? Here? Your father's here, both my parents. You want to sell my creek? What about the old stone hut? Maybe we could afford to lose that. Got to want it. Got to know. And nothing's just as it seems. It's a long, long road to find your dream. You all right, mate? Yeah, it's just a nick. Nothing to worry about. Righto. You know, Mum, if this place sells, I reckon you should move back to the city. Become a hairdresser again. Yeah, I could come round and do your washing for you because you're not going to have time with your course and your social life. <laughs> and, yeah. and if I'm close, I could bring around a few dinners for you each week. I oh, see, it'll be excellent. Yeah, and I could peel your grapes for you. I could be your own personal slave while you and your mates live the high life. I don't think so, Jodie. I'm sure there's something out here I can do that's less stressful for both of us. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, you've hurt your hand there. Eh? Ah, oh, it's nothing. I killed a rabbit and cut my hand while I was skinning it. Oh, well, I can put a proper bandage on that for you if you like. He's done a runner on us. He's not taken off that kid's money, is he? Jason's taken off. Disappeared in the thin air. Jason's wife's gone into labour. Jason got a call last night and he took off straight away. What, without telling anyone? Well, he told me. Well, the phone in the house didn't ring. How could he get a call? He's got a pager. Come on. Let's get that bandage. Jason's not married. He's probably laying face down in a ditch somewhere. Oh, well, there's another part of the property we can't sell off. Get through them today. Work it down like this. I've got a forward contract, Marty. I deliver tomorrow. And we're going as fast as we can. 
If you really want the men to haul ass, I need some incentive. I'm not upping the price. You guys can just pull your finger out. I could share faster than you oh, like. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, I do. Well, oh, show us then. If you want to have a cut at each other, you can jump in any time. Glad to. Let's see who can share the most by 11.30. Oh, you're setting yourself up for a fall, Claire. Well, if that's what it takes to get your arse into gear. I'll tell you what. When I win, you pay me and the boys an extra 20 cents per sheep. And when you lose, you and the boys will be staying here <laughs> under lights until the job gets done for the contracted price. Done. Done. <laughs> His shoulder's better now. Reckon I've got time for a smoke. like a dag. Been worried for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost. <laughs> We'd make a good team. Oh, that's a job you're offering. I've got my hands full here. Well, they don't have to be. You can hire me, station manager. <laughs> I'm not in the position to do that. I know this place, Claire. You know me. Been coming here for years. Oh, well, thanks for the offer, Marty, but. I'd... Look. You've done a good job struggling through. But I reckon if Jack knew you had a chance to make a go of it, he want you to grab it. And you're my chance. Oh. Like I said, we make a good team. Hey. Do you remember Danny Stubbs' 21st? The one down by the river? <laughs> 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 I'm not 17 anymore, Marty. <laughs> Not that you got anywhere that night. You never kept this place going by yourself. You do the numbers. We spread thin as jam. The challenge is good for you, Marty. Makes you try harder. You just had to double your count to beat me. So much for we're going as fast as we can. If you can keep it up, we'll have the sharing finished by sunset. Time for smoko. Thought they were outside with you. You can't just leave. Sorry, if we're up to me, Bex. OK, 
Okay, so you've had the dummy spit. Can we get back to work now? I'll have to help clear. You want to do it by yourself? Fine, do it by yourself. Got everything? Let's get going. Just forget about your ego for five seconds. We've got a contract. Sue me if you like. I'll invoice you for the work we've done. Luke, I'll see you there. Marty's a boss. You're a wimp. Going with your boyfriend? I take a job, I stick around till it's finished. On the bright side, we don't have to worry about the serial killer anymore. Right now, I'd hire Jack the Ripper if he could get the clip done for us by tomorrow. Are you okay? I've just tried to call a Shiro who's been dead for five years. Oh. I don't want to do that. I'm never going to get anyone on zero notice. I have to share every sheet of... Is this yours? Uh, yep. Yeah. It's a cafe. Mum and I used to go there a lot. It's not far from where we lived. Right, and you just carry it round in your wallet like a baby photo. I'm thinking I might buy it. So this is your plan? Look, I, I know what you're going to say. How do years of history in this place compare with cappuccino and cheesecake? Well, maybe they don't, but it's what I've always wanted to do. It's, it's why I went to college. It's, it's what Mum and I talked about before she died. I like cheesecake. But not the frozen kind. I just don't get why you'd go out for it. But then you don't get why I check the fences every day. What's going to change about them? Do they do a song and dance routine or something? <laughs> Tess, I've got to get the shearing done by first thing tomorrow morning. I need the guaranteed cash. You've got your plans and I've got mine. We won't even get to argue about it if I don't deliver the wool. This the easy way, or not. Oh. You so remind me of a girl I went to school with. That's it, you gotta show him who's boss. It's me. I'm going to head down to the house to fix us something to eat. Oh, yes, please. What? Vernon. Did you forget something? Look, it was wrong of Marty to leave you in the lurch the way he did. But don't worry about it. I've sorted him out. Sort of Marty out. Oh, I don't know. I don't wish I'd been there to watch. Well, we'll all be murdered in our beds. <laughs> None of us are going anywhere near our beds tonight.
I'm proposing a toast to Vernon. Oh, yeah, thank God someone sticks to their word. To Vernon. To Vernon. Vernon. Look, there's something you should know. Like what? Well, Jason's not having a baby. So why the midnight run? We argued and he left, that's all. And look, I'm sorry I wasn't straight with you. I've got a dash. I'm going to grab a lift with the mail truck. It was fun. Come on, I'll pay you. Oh, see you later, Jim. Bye. Sausages. About Jason, he's not lying face down in a ditch somewhere, is he? Bottom of a waterhole weighed down. Karen and the kids are there too. You've heard worse? No, that about sums up the rumours. Look, Jason will be in a bar somewhere shooting his mouth off. And my family are in Queensland, last I heard. Well, that must be hard. Yeah, and I haven't heard from my kids in seven months. Well, your wife can't do that, even if you've split up forever. You've got rights. Yeah, well, it's just easier this way. The things people say about you, why do you put up with it? Well, you don't know the whole story. There's worse things in life than being taken for a mass murderer. There are? Well, there are around here. Ask Jason, he's probably telling everyone right now. And the truth... You know, the truth's always been nothing but trouble for me. I couldn't lie to Karen anymore. Sooner or later, you've got to be honest with your wife. So you're a bigamist, is that it? I'm a horse's hoof. Poof, gay. Light on me feet, you know? All <laughs> right. Yeah, when well, you're from the city, it's different. Well, why don't you go there if it's so hard here? Well, this is my home. But Jason, he'll talk. Yeah, well, I don't want to go. Our ex-murderer is gay. No murders. His wife freaked, as you would, and now the secret's out. He looks so manly. Why he isn't up front about it, it's, it's sad, really. Do you know what's really sad? He's the first bloke Mum's looked at in years, and he's gay. See, the thing is, we haven't actually agreed on anything yet, so I'm not going to be ready in time for the auction. Or well, not this one, anyway. It's fake. Maybe the place has really bad rising damp or something. No way, it's my dream. I'm not giving up. I'll just find another cafe when the timing's better. I don't know. I think I'm going to stay here a bit longer. See if me and Claire can work something out. No more trouble, please. Oh, this is so stupid. You can't tell anyone. Close the door. What happened? The contract. Oh, God. What about it? I've stuffed up the dates. We're too late. No. We're too early. It's next week I'm meant to deliver. We had a whole extra week? You flogged us all. I did. For no reason? Yes. I can't tell anyone, Tess. They're going to think I'm the biggest idiot. You make mistakes. Our secret, Tess. You know, they're probably going to work it out when the wool stays in the shed for the rest of the week. Oh, come on. <laughs> 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 Watching every move, watching every move.
to breathe.